Hello, my name is Vinti and I am starting a project where I'm going to track transforming our backyard into the garden utopia that I have always dreamed it to be. So due to the pandemic, we're probably not traveling anytime soon. For that reason, I think it's even more important that we enjoy our space at home. This coming summer will be the third one that we third one that we spend in this house. The second summer we were able to focus a little bit more attention on the backyard. Uh, we put in some raised beds and some bushes and shrubbery and plants um, and I think that this year uh, we've laid a really good foundation and so we're really ready to take it to the next level and again because we're going to be spending more time at home I really want to make it an oasis and just every time we go outside I want it to be like a feeling you know like when you walk into a really uh, beautiful or just well thought out garden and you just feel this sense of calm and you just love being there. I do want to be realistic. Um, some of the most beautiful gardens take years to establish. So I know that at the end of the summer, it's not going to be finished. It's going to be a constant work in progress. So where we're at today, uh, February is wrapping up and we're heading into March. This is typically a very gloomy time in Pennsylvania. There's a lot of gray. Uh, it's just cold. Um, everything is brown. So here is a quick tour of what the backyard looks like currently. Um, our Christmas tree that we plan to chop up for firewood. We have a fire pit and some seating, a pot here. Um, and then this is the backyard space. That's our other fire pit. As you can see, still a lot of snow right now. Um, we have a shed which has some uh, shrubs in front of it that are covered in snow right now. Um, here are our raised beds. Um, my husband actually built these beds from uh, skids. You can see there's some uh, perennials um, that are there. A, a couple of um, planters that I have over in this corner. Um, and then if we circle back around, um, we've got some shrubbery and stuff. Um, in front of the deck, and we can um, have this little side yard space here that has our um, rain barrel and just some trees over there that cover some equipment. And that's pretty much what it is. You can't see too much right now because it's covered with snow, um, but this is the backyard right now. Uh, spring is, is not too far off. In just a couple of months, everything is going to start transforming and become green again. But right now, we're just it's just a very blah time. One of my favorite things to do this time of year is to visit Longwood Garden. We are fortunate that we only live about an hour away. I love the Longwood Garden greenhouse. It's one of my favorite places on earth. And just while it is so gloomy and gray outside, I love this is the best time to visit the conservatory because you're just in this lush green magical environment and I can draw a lot of inspiration and just get so excited for the season ahead. All right, for houseplant fans out there, this is a huge ficus or fiddle leaf fig um, reaching almost the top of the greenhouse. This was kind of a very popular trendy plant for a little bit, so it's cool to see such a big one. I know that they can get really big. 
So here's something you see on Instagram all the time, the small leaf spider wart transentia fluminensis. I, if I ever see a photo of this on Instagram, it's like an automatic like from me. I just think they're so pretty. So if you look around closely, you'll notice so many types of house plants that have really gained popularity. So here you can see um, some alocasia plants, which I got one once as a housewarming gift, could not keep it alive. And then down here we have some Peperomia ripple and some Peperomia emerald. Peperomias are also very common, so it's so cool to see them sort of together in, in landscaping rather than in individual pots. And of course, right now I'm also giving a lot of attention to my house plants, um, so everything inside. Um, a lot of them are struggling because house plants just you know it's it's winter it's their dormant season and sometimes i have to remember that when i see some of them not looking uh their best it's it's totally normal for this time of year i do have a background in journalism i enjoy storytelling so for me this is just another um, form another way to uh, do some storytelling um, and uh yeah, if you if you happen to watch, uh, thank you so much. I would definitely appreciate uh, any feedback or any thoughts that you have, or um, just you know sharing what you're doing in your own garden. So again, thanks for coming along, and uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully uh, what will be a great season in the garden.